the welfare of our children is very dependent upon the time at which they're born and the weight at which they're born. This will affect their educational outcomes, their length of life, their likelihood of developing heart disease, and even Alzheimer's. Unfortunately, in some cases, premature birth is associated with the death of the baby. And yet, we do not understand the factors that determine the length of a human pregnancy or how that clock mechanism links to the onset of labour. We sort of became involved with Born through our struggles to, to have a child and ultimately having a child, a little boy, Alfie. The, the very first time we found out that Sarah was pregnant was, was a while ago now, um, 2012, and we were still in Sydney. We had just been married for maybe four or five months and we fell pregnant and I remember telling Dean and we were both really a little bit in shock and a little bit overwhelmed but also so excited. We moved from Sydney over to England and were based in Exeter in Devon and everything had been going really well. The three month scan had been perfect. 48 hours after that 20 week scan I had a few stomach cramps and I was bleeding and obviously immediately went into a state of panic. She rang me and, and said, we're, yeah, I think we're gonna lose it. So when our little girl was delivered, we were able to hold her, but she hadn't survived. You, you actually feel your heart break, you know, and, and watching Dean being so upset as he held his little girl who hadn't survived. 10 months after, we lost our daughter, we found out that we were pregnant again. We had spoken to a number of obstetricians and just sort of trying to figure out what, what we should do second time around. I was feeling quite positive, 28 weeks was one of the key milestones that we've been working towards. However, I started to feel like I was having contractions and went up to the hospital and I began to go into labour. The doctors all tried to stop the labour but things just progressed far too quickly. When he was born, I didn't get to see him, or I didn't get to hold him, he's whisked away straight away. On day nine, we were able to pull him out of the incubator and hold him because basically his heart was beginning to stop working. And it was the first time we'd got to hold him alive. <laughs> and it was a surprisingly sort of strange experience holding your child because we knew he was going to die and we knew that that was why we were being able to hold him. But it was calming and it was lovely because you could see him calm down. You know, he was so sick and you just imagine that he was wondering why, you know, why, where his mum and dad were and why they weren't helping him. And when we finally held him, he just, he relaxed and he calmed down. God, if you could just avoid a little baby ever having to go to intensive care and ever having to be stuck in an incubator and uh, you know never never having to go through life not being held by their mum and dad just do anything you can to stop it because it's just so awful it's it really is <laughs> sorry i hope that one day all women will be screened for their risk of preterm birth we will be able to say to a lady sitting in front of us in early pregnancy, you are at risk of preterm birth. We need to watch you very carefully to reduce your risk, hopefully completely prevent that risk. To be able to do that, we need to understand what causes preterm birth. And that is really where we are focused. That is our aim to understand what causes preterm birth and then to find treatments that will reduce that risk. At the moment, most researchers in this area are working by themselves. Born offers us the opportunity to link around the planet with researchers to focus on this critical problem. How much better would it be if we could prevent premature birth or have effective treatments available to stop the labour and allow the baby to continue inside the warm, nourishing environment of the mother's uterus.
they've given us an, an opportunity to, to have a child and have a family and yeah, you can argue that, that there's not much more someone can give than that.